Hi, I'm Pavel Spechalski and believe it or not, but one of the requests that's popping up in the iNav GitHub uh, issues section is the rover and boat support. Yes, this thing is not like regularly demanded every week or something like for example Dshot was, but since like two or three years Honestly, every every half a year there is a request. Hey, what about a uh, rover support? Maybe you could add something. Um, the very old subscribers to this channel might know that from time to time I'm building an airboat and even last year I tried to put INAF on it and it was doing some sailing and uh, oh, was almost working. Problem. <sighs> Problem, challenge, lack of functionality. Really, the rover and boat specific INAV routines, especially navigation routines, are so eh, not not really there yet. For example, right now, uh, INAV cannot uh, handle properly going backwards, so the reversible motors are eh, not so much. There are some challenges during the return to home or waypoints or many, many, many different things that are right now are working great either on airplanes or either or multi-rotors. This year and this year really, really, really finally I decided to do something about this and to implement the real, including navigation, support in INA for the rovers and boats. And because I want to do it, I need a rover that I can use. So uh, let me show you what I came up with. It's not pretty, but maybe it's even working. Who knows? Uh, let me let me change the camera angle and put it so you can see on my desk and I will show you the the thing the thing I've built and as a platform for the INAV development for the rover and boat because boats and rovers are actually very similar the only difference between boat and rover is that the rover when the motor is off cannot move while the boat can move so the yaw stability for example should be enabled even when motor is not working nevertheless this is what i came up with as you can see it's a rover well it has four wheels the front side has a suspension, the rear side has a suspension, there is a motor, there are even two uh, cardan joints because this is 4x4, four four. Uh, but the top side well, looks like definitely not like something that uh, came straight from the shop because the top side is 100% my creation, it's ugly like hell but it works. Okay few more words about what this thing really is. It's based on the 4x4 crawler called the WPLC24 that you can get from China for like uh, 30 bucks? 30 maybe 30 something bucks uh, or slightly more with the transmitter. When I ordered my CPL24, which was recommended during one of the live streams on, uh, we had a few weeks ago, um, I made a mistake. I made a mistake and I ordered the kit version that you have to assemble everything. And the kit version not only does not have the transmitter and the receiver, but also has no ESC. This is why the first thing that I had to do, because I did not want it to wait like a few weeks for the brushed, because this is a small brushed motor, uh, I had to came up with the ESC. So let me let me bring this slightly closer and this this thing you can see right here it's the uh, l298d two channel h bridge that acts as a power section yeah i know i could just use mosfet but for mosfets i would have to build a full h bridge for that i would need uh, for mosfets to complementary build a board i just had few of those and this is like with the two amps max current this is more than this small motor over here can ever consume and here in the bottom it's the arduino and I programmed the Arduino to act like the ESC and drives this thing as drives the motor. So I can say that uh, right now I've created my own, my very own brushed, brushed ESC. It works. It kind of works. It's maybe not the perfect one, but it can make this thing drive. 
There is uh, some obsolete board I found somewhere in one of the boxes, Omnibus something something. There is a GPS, there is a magnetometer, there is a R9 receiver, why R9? Because I just have more R9s than 2.4 GHz from Eversky. Huge battery in the back, probably way too huge because this is like 6 amp hour, almost 6 amp hour 2S and probably can drive this thing for like 6 hours straight without having to recharge. You know, there is no Mm, FPV installation yet because the first test I will be doing will be just about the basic navigation. Can this thing return to home, for example, or can I move this thing backward and forward? So basic, basic, basic stuff, but should be enough to do some basic stuff. Um, the development. The development already started. I'm already making some changes to the INAV, uh, trying this and that, and hopefully, really, I hope that before the next release of the INAV, which will be INAV 2.5, there will be at least basic support for rovers and boats, and they will be able to go home, to go back home, um, after you flip a switch or the failsafe happens. So let's hope it will happen. If I would have to review the, the C24 chassis I'm, I'm having right here, I would say that for the price it's better than I really expected. On the other hand, um, the overall quality of the C24 fully plastic chassis is, well, yeah, there are at least a few problems with these things. Um, the the how it's called, the tires are coming off of the rims and it's really feel like it's plasticky. Um, it's not that big as you might imagine and it, it's super cheap ABS plastic and the assembly was kind of irritating, but it's also kind of working. Let me plug this thing on uh, and, get, and get the radio and I will show you that this thing is working. I have the radio, let me turn on the radio, let's put this here and let's see if I will be able to arm. Haha, -ha, you see? And even four wheels are spinning. Unfortunately, this is not yet in the 3D, in the reversible motors mode. This is not the 3, 3D mode enabled yet because um, I do have to change the ESC code. Uh, by the way, the code for the ESC, my Arduino ESC. Uh, on the GitHub is in the, um, how it's called, in the GitHub, so in the description, so if anybody would like to see how the brushed, because really brushed ESCs are super sensorless, brushed ESCs are extremely simple, you have a uh, just like few lines of code and you are done, so you might take a look at it, uh, maybe I will even publish some more interesting documentation of the thing. Nevertheless, first rights. Maybe even this weekend, maybe the next one, it's, uh, I think it will be raining, so maybe not, but we will see. Either way, I will be keeping you posted. Mm, this right now, among my glider catapult, are the most important hardware projects I'm running right now. So I will definitely keep you posted, and that's all for today, until the next one. Bye-bye.